Hey guys, World's Playground here. Um, I'm still in Iceland, as you might be able to notice, because I did just upload a video saying I'm back. And uh, I did it in this exact location. So anyway, someone left a comment on that video, TV Corner, and asked if I could do something about uh, pr pr prolonging the battery life of the iPhone 3G. So now I'm just going to give you a quick video of how to prolong the battery life on iPod touches and iPhones of all versions and generations. Alright, first off, the golden rule which will preserve your battery longer than anything else you can do is your brightness on your LCD screen. If you don't know how to turn on your brightness, go ahead and find your settings application on your device, click it, and then all you got to do is look down and it's like your fourth or fifth one down and it's, it says brightness. Then this will pop up. Oh, can you see it very well? Turn it down all the way and turn off auto brightness. Ooh. Some people say by keeping your auto brightness on, it reduces your battery life, but auto brightness is just another application that will constantly be running on your device, which in turn will reduce your battery life. So if you can turn off as much stuff as possible, it will prolong your battery life more than having them on. So uh, turn your brightness down all the way to the bottom and turn off auto brightness. Another thing is if you're doing anything that involves sounds, put it as low as you possibly can get while still hearing everything that you want to hear. If you want to uh, listen to music or something, and you know you don't always have to have it at the top, you can do it halfway and still listen to everything that you're hearing. All right. So um, besides, I keep your brightness down. Don't have your volume up all the way. Go to uh, here. Another thing. Go to your general section. This only applies to the iPhone owners. Go to your general section on your device and then click network. Um, it'll, this all depends on what you're doing. You have the ability to enable 3G and you have the ability to turn on or off data roaming. All right. Now, first off, data roaming is only if you're outside of your network area. Um, I'm currently with Rogers in Canada, so as soon as I leave Canada, I turn off. Wait, wait. If I want to do roaming, which is when you're outside of your current network, like I leave Canada to go to the United States, I put on roaming just so I'd be able to get the other networks and still be able to get my 3G edge and all that stuff. Although it will cost you, it, you'll get roaming charges basically. But by having it on, it reduces your battery life, whether or not you're still in your network's range. So if you live, let's say in Sweden and you're getting Swedish carriers and you put on data roaming and you only stay in Sweden, you're battery will be reduced although you're not really even using it it's just something that it needs to constantly run and check on your device so turn that off and if you don't need to use 3g turn that off as well you'll still get edge but see 3g wastes more battery than it would an edge you can get about four hours of online surfing with 3g and five hours with the edge although it is slower it reduces less battery so if you have the option to enable 3g I recommend not doing so um, so let's keep going here. Uh, turn off your Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth is another thing that will be constantly running. Uh, trying to search for another device to pair to. Um, I recommend putting your auto lock, which will be after you don't touch your screen for like a minute, or two, or three, or four, or five, or never, depends what you set it to. It will automatically turn off. First the screen will dim, and then you'll be able to tell that it's about to turn off, and then it will. I recommend putting that at one minute. This is only for conserving your battery. So if you don't use it for a minute, it will uh, go into sleep mode. You just press the home button or power button, slide to unlock, and it starts up again. Uh, what else do we got here? This is basically about it. Just try to reduce everything that you're using. If you want to listen to music, try turning off your screen. Um, so none of the LCD <coughs> sorry, none of the LCD screen is being used and try to put down the volume as low as possible while still being able to hear everything that you want to hear. Um, for YouTube, what I actually recommend doing is uh, if you want to watch a video, first off turn the brightness down. Turn the volume down as well and don't watch the video until it is fully loaded. You don't realize but it's actually better for your battery to let the video fully load before you start it up. Because when you press play and then it gets stuck your device actually does like a, l a little bit of a refresh online which reduces the battery life just because it's doing so many things at once so if you pause the video let the whole video go through whether you're on 3G or Edge 
and then wait and then play it all the way through, it won't have that stop and start. So it kind of stops the video and starts it all over again, but at a certain point. It's kind of weird and complicated, but it's just the way the YouTube works. So that's another thing that I found going through online of how to save your battery life on your device. So just try to think about reducing and using less things at once. So you guys, that's basically about it. Um, and another good idea for conserving your battery life is to have less things on your device. That's all I can think of. I have like 100 applications on mine. I use up about 8 pages. So I'm not that concerned about battery life anyway. So you guys, it's basically about it. Those are some really quick tips that all I could really give you from an airport anyway. I could do a lot more research if I uh, felt like it, but I'm really bored and I just wanted to upload the video quick. So you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope the information was great. Stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, five star, subscribe, and check out another video I might be uploading in like 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so talk to you later, and uh, stay tuned.